Hola community, it's Pablo Vasquez. Today I had to wipe my computer, so I need to compile Blender again, and I thought maybe we could do it together, since I have to do it from scratch. We're gonna get the Blender sources, get everything that is needed to compile not only Blender, but any software, get the Blender libraries, and compile it, and maybe we can make a little change just to celebrate that we have our own Blender. But first, why would you want to build Blender? Why would you go to the travel for building it? I've been building it since I was like 16, 17, as, as soon as I knew it was open source. I thought it was really cool to be able to build my own Blender, but also I wanted to have the latest, the latest Blender, the latest changes and everything. We now can have these automated builds that we can download every now and then, but you have to download 140 something megabytes every time if you compile your own blender you only get the sources once and then you just download a few kilobytes because it's just text every time you want to update also compiling it is super fast so it, everything is fast and you get the latest latest as much as you want any times as many times as you want third reason because I wanted to make my own little changes I wanted to mess with the code and I'm not a developer and I wasn't a developer but also I wanted to try other people's code actual features that other people are building and they can share the code to be compiled having access to the code is one of the most important things that blender has not only because it, it you get the freedom to do whatever you want with it but also besides that there is no privacy concerns because you can actually look at the code what it's doing but also because it's yours. If they if a, a feature gets removed because you don't like it, you can go back a few versions and then you have your own version still with that one feature. You can change it for your own settings. You can share it with your friends, with your family, with your studio. You can do anything with it. <laughs> okay, I got too excited. Let's build it. We're building it for Linux because it's the operating system I use, but also because it's the easiest. Really, we are just gonna look at a website and follow the steps. That's, that's gonna be it. <laughs> wiki.blender.org, you're gonna click on building blender, then Linux, then uh, your distro, in this case I use Ubuntu because uh, my distro is pop OS but it's based on Ubuntu, should also work with other Debian based uh, distros. And here we're just gonna follow the steps, not a lot of the steps, I think I'm gonna skip some, but basically first thing you want to do is update your libraries. Then the second line is for installing the most, most essential things I mean, you may have already some of these libraries but just in case uh, install them in this case i don't have it because i was like I, I just wiped my computer i have nothing so let's install it so what we just installed is the generic libraries and applications for not only for for blender but for any other software that you want to build for example you the build essential is like the basic basic stuff and then git for the versioning or for cloning the repository uh, subversion CMake, LiveX11 is for input stuff. So yeah, it's not a lot of uh, just the basics, not even Blender related. Now let's get it into Blender. Let's uh, make a folder. So whatever you want to put your, uh, your folder doesn't matter really. Um, in this case, let's follow the, let's follow the wiki. So Blender git, I cd into the Blender git folder and then I git clone and it's gonna clone uh, the Blender repo and it's gonna make a folder with the name of the repo so it's Blender. If you want a different name just type it right after without spaces and that should uh, work but in this case let's leave it like that and it's making a folder called Blender with the Blender source in it. It's done let's see what we have to do next. Let's make a folder for this library so make their lib so I'm gonna make directory lib because I'm already inside blender git and I'm gonna go inside of lib and then I'm gonna do svn checkout I'm just copy this and that will also take a little bit it's all the libraries from ffmpeg for video open colada even open colada is not owned by default in blender it's available there uh, open subdiv open exr all these libraries even python you can get uh, all these libraries are actually things that you can later disable if you don't use. For all right, done. Let's go one level up because now we are just gonna build Blender. So everything should be ready. So we just go one level up and here I am Blender and live. Let's go inside the Blender folder like it said here. Make update, make. So make update. This is gonna go through all of the folders 
um, it's gonna get for example the the locale for uh, translation stuff then all the add-ons folders the, um, the add-ons contrive so even not even the fold the, the add-ons that are not shipped with blender with the final release but the ones that are contribution the ones that are like a work in progress or maybe candidates to be added in a final build that said make update in the future if you want to update you just go make update and it's gonna uh, load like it's it's similar to git pull which will pull the changes the latest changes but it's gonna do it in every folder and every add-on and everything so i think we are ready to make blender so let's make it the first time that you compile blender is gonna take a while because he has to compile everything or every every area of blender for the first time however next time you compile it will only do the things that changed so if there was a change in the interface something very superficial it's gonna be fast if there is a deeper change in blender like in the blend file data i don't know something very deep then it's gonna take a bit longer but never as long as the very first time it's interesting to see while you are compiling to see how the system is doing so you can see that all the cores are mainly in use most of the time then there is some linking linking is not um, multi-threaded completely as you can see it goes like up and down you can limit the amount of cores that will be used for compiling in case you don't want to use everything and you're doing something else for example and you you can't uh, have it uh, slow well you can run instead of running just make you can do make dash j and then the number of threads that you want to use for example four if you have an eight core computer then you can do four and it will only use half of the power of your computer so you have the other half in case you were not i don't know maybe rendering something or doing some other stuff that are going to use your computer and voila a bemus blender so blender successfully built run from this address let's see if it's true enter and yep we have a blender so 290.2 alpha so this is the latest at the moment of recording this video and uh, we can see that if we are in alpha in the new about uh, section in blender you can see the uh, branch that we're in this is master the hash so it's the last commit that was done at the time it was around 7 pm this is it we have our own little blender here wasn't that easy just copy pasting a few commands and we have our own blender it's a matter of losing the fear it's just the one the first time you do it and then it's just fine and now comes the best part let's build branches of blender so versions of blender that are not available in other places you can build any blender version ever from here from since it became open source in 2002 so git and then you can do check out and if you auto complete in this case if you press tab you're gonna <laughs> get this message display all 60 682 branches so some of these branches should be removed already but some of them are just just stay there so you can see some very old things like apricot that is the yo frankie open game projects made with blender 2.48 that is very long time ago then uh, uuid asset experiments these ones are more updated actually the asset engine and many or most of these branches are deprecated so some of them are just laying around from back like compositor 2016 that's clearly very old clay engine it was a fun experiment back in ev times but you're also gonna find some interesting ones look at this one here ev motion blur object is a work in progress uh ev motion blur that it's still not uh, not released and uh, not even finished but yet we have a branch where you can probably is gonna look wrong and break and and i don't know like all the errors ever because it's under development so it's not don't expect everything here to work what I could recommend, for example, is the Grease Pencil Object Branch. This one is updated pretty much daily by the Grease Pencil team. This has a lot of experiments that we're, they're working on and where they play with the features before moving them into the final uh, or into master, into the actual release. Also gonna find Google Summit of Code project. These are very exciting to follow and as you as they are happen. 
for example the uh, there are already branches for this year summer of code so summer of code 2020 fluid tools grease pencil curve testing frameworks so you can find the ones from last year and the previous year the older the branch is going to be harder to compile because libraries change right so always try to stick with the latest the ones that are more updated so how do you compile one you should simply do git then check out and then do the name of the branch if you uh, press tab it's going to auto complete so grease pencil object for example we enter and now we are there so it's just a matter of really just doing uh, make enter it's gonna take a, a while too because a lot of code has changed it's going fa fairly fast though this is because the grease pencil team keeps it up to date and a Bemos grease pencil branch so by default it's gonna override the um, the same build where it was put before so maybe you want to make a copy or you can tweak the you, there is a uh, configure setting that you if you want a bit more advanced and make your own folder when you compile that uh, version you can do as well but you can go to the about blender um, pop-up and you can see here that we're actually in the branch grace pencil object okay so we got the sources compile our own blender master we also compile the branch let's change it a little let's change something without coding so let's replace a file just to see how how it feels so in the uh, blender git folder that we made inside blender where the source is let's go to the release uh, folder then data files and then here you're gonna find a lot of interesting things to play with such so as images for example so alert icons um, these are actual like the um, images that are used as icons uh, the big icons the other icons the smaller ones it's actually called blender underscore icons it's an svg file with every single icon ever if you update this for example if you want to change the color of them or uh, like the shape or anything you have to re uh, compile all these icons running this script blender icons update.py which it, I think it uses Inkscape the open source vector vertex graphics software so you have to install that and once you have that it's going to make the actual uh, files for that these are dot that um, files and they're going to go into this folder it's automatic this that script makes it in these folders you're also going to find other things such as these images for changing the brush icons um, or you can also find color management stuff like lookup tables these are gonna find them you're gonna recognize them a lot of things to play with studio lights for example matte caps these are the exrs files that make the uh, the actual matte caps the actual uh, that you find here matte cap all these files are exr files that you can find in here other interesting files that you're gonna find in here are for example the splash or also the preview.blend that one does it sound familiar well preview.blend is if you drop it here in the blender that you just built <laughs> you're gonna find a familiar or is it familiar for you this is the preview of materials so if you select a material Go to the settings and you're gonna see for example this is the cloth so if you go to cloth you see it matches so that means that this little guy here is actually a blend file that it's called preview.blend that you can basically just go ahead and modify <laughs> you can go nuts if you want with this for example you can i can just delete everything and just i don't know make it a monkey right because who doesn't want to have a monkey there so let's say i want this to be my my preview for example so let's make it like this and then let's add some subdivision like a, here let's make it like that and it's just a matter of saving it because i i took care that it should be the same object because it takes the name and stuff so i just selected the same preview cloth and i just save it over so save the blend file close it go here make and this will be fast actually because it doesn't have to do pretty much anything it doesn't have to compile any new code you just have to relink everything and just the one uh, file for preview so 
let's see how it looks how it looks how our our own blender is exciting preview plus and we have a monkey we have our own monkey so yeah this is how you're gonna waste your time from now on because you're gonna be changing your own blender when you don't when you're not happy with it so yeah it's it's in it exciting that you can actually just go change you guys we didn't even look at the code yet that's for another video but basically we went into the release folder but if you go to the source and then uh, blender and then for example editors you can go nuts here you can find all the spaces and stuff this is gonna this you have to be more careful because you can break your blender and if you break it for example if i uh, if i do git status it's gonna tell me like hey there is a new file blend one which doesn't belong to this repository and then there is this one that got modified what if i want to reset my like get everything from like i, I don't want to touch anything i want to start from scratch to my own blender do you have to get all the code again no you can basically for example you can uh, restore this one you can git restore and the file or you can basically just get it again so you can do git checkout and you can just get the file which is going to be replaced and then now it's not going to be shown in the list in git status because you just checked it out again you got the, the copy from the server and that's basically it for this one you can just basically just remove it for example and it's it's fine it's not part of the repo it's just git status gonna say that there is no changes everything is fine everything is clean um, and this we enter into the more like the git managing uh, area where you can like reset the whole repo and it's not really related to compiling blender but uh, you can read more about git pretty much everywhere <laughs> it is a big big topic all right congratulations you have your own blender compiled branch change modified it's yours do whatever you want with it see you in the next video bye bye